AX300 is our mobile device examinations class where we use uh, Axiom to leverage the, the power that it has to actually collect the evidence and artifacts from a mobile device that when the data is extracted that you can throw into the tool and see all the different artifacts that are readily available for us to use in our investigation. Uh, I would say it's, it's probably for everyone because today in technology we see that most every case has some sort of digital evidence regarding mobile devices in it. So uh, the transition from computer evidence into the mobile technology world uh, is pretty common. So we see regular investigations that have multiple mobile devices included in it. Uh, the change from carrying huge laptops around to carrying small, powerful mobile devices such as iPads or tablets or uh, Android or iOS devices is, is very common. So uh, I think with the ability to adapt and, and uh, overcome those challenges uh, is one good reason why you should probably, try, probably take this class. Uh, I think they get a, a good baseline understanding of what actually is available for, from a mobile device. Uh, some students who are coming from the computer world into the mobile device world may be transitioning into that type of investigation that they've never done. So it kind of gives them a, a baseline of a starting workflow to determine what can I see on a mobile device, what kind of evidence do I expect to see, uh, and does it support my investigation, and does it lead me to other pieces of evidence that uh, I may or may not have known that existed, sir, such as devices in the cloud or uh, backups that may be stored on a local machine. So I think as, uh, as we become more uh, proficient in our skill set, that it allows them to actually be a little bit more um, comfortable with, it, with finding the evidence that may be out there. So. Uh, my personal history involving uh, mobile device examinations for the nine years of uh, my last law enforcement career with the Arkansas State Police, I predominantly did mobile investigations. And uh, it, was, it was pretty eye-opening to see exactly how much data is uh, and how much a person's life is actually recorded on a mobile device. Um, whether we're taking pictures of the food we eat or whether we're taking pictures of our travel, uh, the same people who use it for nefarious reasons are also doing the same things. They're documenting their crimes, they're uh, documenting their location, it's uh, putting people in places where we're trying to document that type of stuff. And my personal experience is uh, a lot of great cases have been made just on the fact that that person had a mobile device with them based on location history. So. I think the takeaway that a student would receive from taking this class would be that they would feel more equipped to maybe handle any situations they come in contact with. Um, if you have a good forensic background, uh, the principles are the same. Whether or not I use this particular tool or that particular tool, uh, the ultimate goal is to uh, seek the truth and, and protect the innocent and, and the evidence is the evidence. We want to make sure that we're presenting um, what the story tells and hopefully uh, with the use of, of magnet and uh, the investigative techniques that we teach in this class that it gives them a better understanding of uh, presenting what the actual evidence tells. Um, I would think after I took 300 I would want to venture into maybe some more advanced uh, uh, techniques that we may have. We also have uh, a 301 class, which is our gray key, which is a little more in depth into the iOS file system, uh, which is a very good class to take. It also leads, mobile also leads back to computers. So if you've not taken the baseline AX200 class, uh, we see mobile evidence inside almost every case, whether it's a backup, uh, whether uh, it's a cloud extraction. So uh, almost every one of our class offerings has some sort of mobile tie-in to it, just by the way that these devices all communicate with each other and how data is stored and, and how we use them as an as a end user and as the public is uh, we, we're preserving all of our evidence, whether it's on a USB drive, whether it's on a cloud drive, whether it's on a local machine that we back up. So uh, any of our other class offerings would very well complement any of the classes you've already taken and especially uh, AX300.